Imagine you're playing with a toy building set and you've built a tall tower. But now you want to create something new with the same toys. How do you do that? Well, you could take some of the blocks from your tower and build a brand new structure. In the world of cryptocurrencies, this is a bit like what happens during a fork. But instead of building blocks, we're talking about code and tokens. Let's talk about what exactly a crypto fork is. Using an imaginary cryptocurrency called Bloom as our example. A cryptocurrency is sort of like digital money, but it's not just about spending. It's built on something called a blockchain, which is like a super long chain of digital blocks. Each block holds lots of information about transactions or exchanges that happen using Bloom. Think of these blocks as pages in a huge book that keeps growing as people write in it. Now, a crypto fork happens when the people who look after Bloom decide to change the way it works. A bit like changing the rules of a game. Imagine if halfway through building your tower, you and your friends decide to create a new rule that says all red blocks must be at the top. Sometimes these changes are small and everyone playing agrees with them. Other times the changes are big and not everyone agrees. This is where the fork comes in. There are two types of forks, soft forks and hard forks. A soft fork is like a little change where maybe only some of the rules are altered and most players can still use the same blocks to build their tower. It might be as simple as agree is agreeing that from now on, only blue and yellow blocks can be used to make the tower taller. On the other hand, a hard fork is a big change, like deciding to turn half your tower into a spaceship. With a hard fork, the rules change so much that the game splits into two different games. Some people might choose to keep building the tower, while others start building the spaceship. In terms of Bloom, this means that the blockchain would split into two separate blockchains. One would keep following the old rules, and the other would follow the new rules. Now, how does this change the token, which in our case is Bloom? When a hard fork happens, two separate versions of Bloom can exist at the same time. Imagine having two new sets of building blocks. The original Bloom tokens would still be there, but now there could be a new version of Bloom tokens based on the new rules. So, while some people still play by the old rules, Others might be excited to try out the new ones. Crypto forks can happen because people want to fix problems or add new features to a cryptocurrency. Maybe the people using Bloom want transactions to be faster, or they decide to make it safer. Just like you and your friends deciding to add a new feature to your tower, these changes aim to improve the blockchain or add exciting new possibilities. This can sometimes make deciding which version to use a bit tricky. Some people might stick with the old Bloom because they know and trust it. Others might rush to use the new version because they believe it's better or more fun. In the end, it's up to the players. Just like it's up to you and your friends to decide which tower to keep building. Remember, not all forks result in two different versions surviving. It's like sometimes the spaceship idea doesn't take off and everyone agrees to stick with building towers instead. But whether the fork is big or small, each change can have a significant impact on how the cryptocurrency grows and what it can do. In conclusion, a crypto fork is kind of like deciding to change the rules of a building game. Sometimes it's a small tweak, and sometimes it results in two new games. Using Bloom as our example, we've seen how these changes can affect the tokens and the people who use them. Just like playing with toy blocks, these forks give people a chance to create, innovate, and build something even better. And who knows, maybe one day, those changes could lead to something as cool as a spaceship made of blocks.